In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for CuNO3-2, copper 2 nitrate. Copper, that's a metal. And then we have N and O, those are nonmetals, and they're bound together in what we call a polyatomic ion, called the nitrate ion. We have two of these nitrate ions. So we have a metal and some nonmetals. That makes it an ionic compound. In an ionic compound, the metal is going to transfer its electrons, its valence electrons, to the nonmetals. So let's put Cu in the center, and then the NO3 on either side. We can tell that copper is going to have a 2 plus charge because of the Roman numerals in the name. So let's put a 2 plus right here. We can tell about the nitrate. We can look that up on a table of common polyatomic ions, and nitrate has a minus 1 charge. So we'll put a minus out here and over here. So we could also figure out that copper has a plus 2 because we have two of these negative charges, and all these charges add up to be zero, a net charge of zero. So the copper had two valence electrons. One went to this group here, the other went here, and that left it with a plus two. Let's replace these nitrates with a Lewis structure. We should then put brackets around each of the nitrate ions. You'll often see brackets placed around this metal cation as well. So this is the Lewis structure for copper two nitrate. But understand that copper two nitrate is a crystal and it's made up of formula units. What we've written is just one formula unit. The crystal will be made up of a bunch of these formula units in a regularly repeating pattern. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for CuNO32 copper 2 nitrate, and thanks for watching.